Welcome back to the channel. We're doing something a little bit different today. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Display Vault Card Edition by Vaulted Vinyl. This thing looks really sick. It's got a window on the front of it where you can actually see your cards from the outside. So I'm not gonna lie guys, I've never actually heard of this brand before. Uh, I definitely wanted to vet this out and uh, show it to you guys. Might as well just share this opportunity with the fan gang to open it up on camera, see what the unboxing experience is like, see what the product is like, and see if it's a good fit or not for my graded card collection or possibly yours. So this is a completely unbiased review. Uh, I have no affiliation with these guys. They don't even know I'm making this video. So uh, I just bought this right off their website through an Instagram ad, obviously because I have a shopping addiction, but I also needed something to protect my slabs because right now it's not looking so good. Let's take a look at how I actually store my slabs currently. So uh, as you guys can see, my, uh, my current slab protection situation here is a little lackluster. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. Right now, these are just lids to ETBs that I'm just kind of stacking these all in because they could just kind of fit nicely. This is just, it's just a mess. Like all these great cards are in here just kind of getting crammed. I'm actually really curious if they're going to fit these uh, rare edition slabs. I have a feeling that they won't because these are much bigger. Yeah, we're going to check this thing out and see if it's a good solution. Oh, and if you're new to the channel, my name's Pokey Fang and welcome to the Fang Gang. All right, let's see if this thing actually fits on the, uh, the old card cam here. And it does not. All right, so hold on. Just give me one second. I'll be right back. Ooh, yeah, there we go. I actually like the way this looks. Hold on a second, guys. Look at that top-down view. This actually looks kind of dope. I might have to use this setup uh, more in future videos. So this is the first time I've actually done this before. I made my uh, profile picture a little bit smaller too, so you guys can see more of what's going on down here. You can also get a sneak peek of all the stuff that's all over my desk, which is kind of a mess. But here we go, the vaulted vinyl display vault. This thing's very interesting. I was not expecting such a nicely designed box. Uh, I don't know very much about this company or very much about this product at all. Like I said, I saw this in an Instagram ad. Figured I would scope it out, see if it's good for the fan gang or not, and uh, maybe I'll recommend it, maybe I won't, depends on how the experience is. So uh, I'm gonna give it to you straight. So here we go, vaulted vinyl display vault. Looks like, I don't think I need to break a seal or anything to open this. I think it opens up this way. All right, there we go. So there's the top. I'm just trying to do this so that it's like out of the way. And then, boom. Okay, there we go. Designed for the passionate. All right, so, so far this thing looks actually really good. It's nice and bubble wrapped in here so it doesn't get damaged. Let's see what we got. I think it's facing up. So let's just pull it out. I think this is the only thing that's actually in here. So I'm curious if this is a bag. I can just lift. Yeah, okay, so that's a, that's literally it. All right, so that's literally it. That's it for the unboxing experience. That's the only thing is in here is the actual case itself. I uh, assume it doesn't need any like instruction manual or anything like that, but uh, we will check it out. It shouldn't need really anything to get started. It's just a case after all, but let's go ahead and uh, get this bubble wrap off of here and try to keep this on camera for you guys and uh, i've always wanted one of these cases that already already looks so so sleek and uh really nice all right cool so we got this little tag on here right there just says vaulted vinyl so this is just like a regular tag you would get if this was sold in like a retail location i'm assuming here we have our handle which actually i don't know if you guys can see this or not but it's got a, a nice rubberized grip on there feels pretty sturdy on the uh Back here, we've got some little rubber feet. So if you want to place it flat down. So this is like, I'm assuming this is aluminum. This is like a, one of those alum, aluminum briefcase style cases. It's not like a Pelican case. I'm sure it's not watertight or anything like that. It's really just for displaying your stuff and storing your uh, graded cards as well. So, and of course they gave us the option. So I had to do it. We had to get the property of Pokey Fang engraved on the glass. I don't think it was any extra charge. I might be wrong, but check the website. I think if you have to open it this way, so it'll open like that. Let me get, actually show you guys what these latches uh, look like here. It does actually look like they're metal, pretty sturdy. Got them on both sides. There should be a key. Uh, I'm assuming that's on the inside. So we're gonna open up these latches here. I will move my camera. Uh, back out and uh, we're gonna flip this thing open right now Let's See what we got already. It just looks really nice. Just 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 this ability to display four graded cards on the outside is already just so nice All right, here we go Let's 
that is really nice. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but the top also has this uh, carbon fiber sort of like outline on this foam. This is definitely like laser cut foam because it's super accurate. There's like a lanyard in here with a pair, two keys uh, on the back here to actually open it. really just to keep people from tampering with it. So, so far, I'm honestly, I'm really digging this thing. So the top, I'm guessing the top sort of just pops out. There you go, okay. Yeah, so it just slides right out. Cool, all right, so the top actually slides right out. So now you guys can see, this is what the actual uh, front panel would look like on the other side here. So it's got these little back bumpers on there. And I think in the ad, I could see that that's so that like when you put your graded card in there, you can just push on the top or the bottom and it'll pop right out. So it's not stuck in there or anything like that. But but then you could see that the uh, glass itself is, uh, is just wide open. So this basically, this foam goes in the back here and just slides right into place. And then you have your cards on display. So that's actually really sick. All right, I'm digging this so far. This really feels like what I would, what I had hoped it was. So, I mean, the only thing that I can say right now, if, if I'm gonna give feedback to this company, which I'm sure they didn't ask for it, and I, I didn't ask for permission to even do this video, uh, would be to get better locks on here. So, these types of keys right here, just really easy to guess, like lock pick or replace or use like a, a universal key to get into there. So, I would say if you guys want an elevated experience, which seems to be the route that you're taking, uh, I would definitely recommend an upgraded lock system. So even if it was an additional add-on or bonus or something like that. So the first thing I wanna do is actually check out how well it actually does what it says it can do, which is, I think it says PSA and CGC slabs should fit in here, but I have all of mine in plastic wrappers. So I'm curious if they're going to fit with the wrappers on or not. Let's see, right here we have a uh, PSA 10, Brilliant Stars Umbreon from the Trainer Gallery and that actually fits no problem, okay? That fits no problem. We're also going to add in the Umbreon VMAX from Brilliant Stars, the Mimikyu from Brilliant Stars in the PSA 10. I swear so many people are sleeping on PSA 10 trainer gallery cards. What else we got? We got the Mimikyu VMAX, of course, in the PSA 10, Gengar in a PSA 10, Dark Phantasma, the Japanese Lost Origin, a Pikachu from Crown Zenith, the Secret Rare in the PSA 10. Uh, one of my favorite cards right here is the Japanese Fossil Hollow Haunter in uh, the Mint 9. 10s are just way too hard to, to find, guys. They, don't, they just don't let go of them. This is just the regular uh, Uncommon Haunter, but you guys know I'm a huge Haunter and Ghost Pokemon uh, fanatic. This is essentially going to be like my Ghost Trap uh, in Ghostbusters. We have uh, one of the first ghost slabs that I actually ever got. I won this, I think, in a raffle or something like that. It's just a uh, base set Ghastly in a PSA 8, so nothing crazy, but this one has a little bit of an emotional connection to me because this is my first actual graded ghost card. Another one of my favorite cards is actually uh, this one right here. This is the Rattata first edition from Rocket. This is my favorite artwork from Rocket and my favorite Rattata artwork. For some reason, like it just always has stood out to me since I was a kid. I had this one and I just protected it with my life. For some reason, I felt like this was a real animal and it needs to be protected and I need to take care of it. I don't know why, kid brain, super weird, but that's how it connected to me. We've got a Neo Discovery Mint 9 Ursaring Hollow, which is one of my favorites. This is another really cool one. We've got a PSA 8 uh, First Edition Steelix Hollow from Neo Genesis. Um, I, just, I realize I'm putting this in like no particular order too. All right, so this is actually one of my favorite cards in the entire situation here. This is a Sabrina's Suggestion. It's a PSA 8, but to be honest with you guys, like the centering, yeah, it's a little off, but everything about this i've looked at this card under a microscope and everything about this card from the corners to the edges to the surface is 
mint. It's absolutely perfect. The only thing that's off is the centering and it's only off top to bottom, left to right, it's literally perfect. And uh, I don't know why I got an eight. I wanna resubmit this one day and hopefully try and get a nine because this is one of my favorite uh, full arts, obviously growing up in the early generation, being a ghost Pokemon fan. All right guys, moment of truth. We're gonna actually see if it fits a CGC slab as well. We've got a CGC pristine 10. So I'm assuming this, I could send this in to get that gold label one. I really like those gold label ones that they've been coming out with recently. This is from Tag Bolt. This is the Gengar Mimikyu GX and pff, nothing, butter. So now for another curveball, we've got a uh, Beckett BGS 9.5 Gengar VMAX from Fusion Strike, the best set in the Sword and Shield era, which I want to get regraded because I actually think I can get a higher grade on this uh, through somebody else. But now we have to see if this is actually going to fit. So. Here we go. Guys, nothing. Like it's literally, it fits in there perfectly. It fits the PSA in the wrappers. It fits the CGC in the wrappers. I did not think that this was gonna fit. Literally fits in there with the wrapper. That's crazy. So even though the BGS slab seems like it's the largest, for some reason it fits in here just as well as any of these other slabs. And before we actually put any of them in the uh, top display part, I have to figure out which cards I'm actually going to want to put in there. But I do want to test a couple more things out to see if they uh, actually fit in here. So I've got some some sealed packs. Um, I got my sealed pack collection here. I got a nice it's Cosmic Eclipse pack and uh, an X and Y base set and a jungle booster pack the regular non first edition this was actually in a pokey rev pack believe it or not and uh oh yeah and i have an ancient origins as well so uh one thing we're gonna do is test out to see if this is a viable option to actually store these things so these are just like regular magnet cases that you can put these packs in yep i had a feeling they would fit perfectly they actually almost fit exactly the same as the slabs so that's that's really cool guess i can get rid of these now finally just start loading these up, putting these inside. Most of these are actually CGC. Some pretty nice cards in here though. Lots of tops cards as well. I like these ones that are from the movie scenes. Got the little Elekid and Pikachu. Got a nice 9.5 that I can upgrade to a 10. Radiant Eevee from Pokemon Go. I think that's a really slept on card. Uh, overall, I think the Radiants are pretty slept on. Have you guys ever heard of this grading service? I don't even know how I got this card. This is GMA4 Magneton from base set. I honestly, I don't even know how I got this card. Um, but I will say this one fits the least best. Uh, we got a couple more of these like GMA graded cards. I have no idea where these came from. Got a first edition Giovanni's Gyarados in eight. We got a PSA 10 Celebrations Mew EX. I think this card is super underrated. Honestly, like graded 10 um, Celebrations cards, I think are super underrated. They're really nice cards. This is one of my all-time favorites here. This is the Topps uh, Series 2 Haunter in a PSA 10. You guys know I love Haunters. My favorite Pokemon of all time. Uh, and if I had to guess, there's going to be one graded card company that I really, really like. And I love their slabs. I love everything about what they're doing. But uh, I don't think that they're going to fit. They're very unconventional in terms of their size. And that is going to be the Rare Edition slabs. So these are... Gorilla Glass, uh, you may have seen me do an opening with one of these on the channel, but these are actually like scratch proof Gorilla Glass slabs that are, they're literally like a cell phone. It's insane. These things are completely encased in glass. They have all kinds of technology and like contactless where you could just tap your phone to it and it'll bring everything up. Uh, like all of your grades and all the details and the scans of the image and stuff will be brought up if you just tap your phone to it. Super, super cool product. And uh, this is the Dark Charizard from Team Rocket, first edition in a 8.5. But this is an unconventional size. This is much larger than your average slab. Really excited about rare edition entering the TCG world. I assume that they're not going to fit because they don't advertise that they can fit. So I don't want you guys to think that this is a negative of this product, that if it doesn't fit, but we are gonna check it out. We are gonna test it out and see if it fits. So, are you ready? I'm actually gonna record this part with my phone so you guys can see a better representation. There we go. 
There it is. There's our dark Charizard. There it is. And well, I mean, I'm pushing pretty hard. Wedge is in there. That was close. All right. I did think that it was going to fit. But one thing about these that I should note is that this outer part right here is actually a rubber guard that you would normally have to buy separately for a regular graded uh, slab, but for rare edition, it actually comes with it. So it's this is what these slabs actually look like. Uh, normally without the guards on them, that's what they look like from the side, which is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm gonna give it another shot without the rubber guard on it this time and see how it goes. So here we go, is our rare edition, Dark Charizard, moment of truth. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that goes right in there. That goes right in there, no problem. So, I mean, this is still a viable option then. Like worst case scenario, you put the bumper back on it if you really wanna have the bumper on there. And then what you could do is actually store these sideways. So you could just have like one row that just stops there. And then you could have all of your rare edition slabs going the other way. I don't see why that would pose a problem. I don't have the biggest collection of slabs. This is pretty much it right here. So I'm really happy with this. This looks phenomenal. So I guess the only thing left to do is just pick out the last few cards that we wanna have in the outside display in the glass here, which is really like the biggest, most important part of this entire thing. So there's our lid. So we actually know that this closes. So that's a good thing. So that pops back into place, that closes, everything's good. So the three cards that I actually picked out for the front are all going to be from the recent set, Pokemon 151, but in Japanese. Uh, one day I hope to get the Master Ball versions, but these are the Reverse Hollows, so the regular Pokeball versions. We've got the Haunter in the 10. We got my boy Gengar in the Pristine 10. And for the fourth one, I'm gonna have to go with the Pristine 10 Gengar VMAX. I think these are supposed to be for PSA, so if it's a little bit snug, that's totally fine. Those are looking pretty good. Then we have our Pristine 10. Gengar, that actually looks so sick. All right, let's flip this thing around. So that when we close it, it's actually upright. Give it a quick, quick wipe with the microfiber. Make sure it's nice and dust free. All right. Push that shut, nice and snug. There we go. Close it, lock it. It does not get much better than this, guys. That looks so good, especially with that property of Pokey Fang engraving right there on the end of it. I mean, come on. That is really, really satisfying. So this is my first time actually buying a case for slabs. And to be honest with you guys, I am very satisfied with this purchase. Uh, it looks incredible. I don't know that I would be throwing this around like it's luggage or anything like that. It's definitely something I would want to take good care of and not drop or damage or anything like that. I can't tell if the front is actually glass or acrylic or not, but it feels feels like it might be glass because it's not bowing or bending or anything like that. So that means it's not gonna scratch as easily, but it means it could also break. So you wanna be very careful with anything like this. This is definitely more of a flex. So overall guys, I was not disappointed with this purchase. I really like this thing, but I wanna hear what you guys think. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of this vaulted vinyl display case. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, consider subscribing. We'll catch you in the next one. And until then, happy haunting Fang Gang.